catch, ready? If you miss this, well, just catch it, okay? How could you let this happen? Being a parent is fucking stupid. See what mommy's doing for you guys? I don't even care. Kermit, hey bud, did you go for a little unexpected dip? Kermit, huh? It's always Kermit and he's going to be the death of- I almost had a fucking heart attack. The reason I ran out there is because I heard that initial pitter patter of like the sprinting, but then there was no barking. Like there was like a sudden silence afterwards, which was like weird because normally it goes like sprint, bark. And I'm like, okay, that's normal. So I sprinted outside, looked directly at the pool and saw him doggy paddling, like frantically doggy paddling into the pool. And this is like, we caught the whole thing on video. Watching that shit back, dude, he fucking did a full 360 and fell ass first into the pool. Did not want to go swimming today, went swimming. Don't let your dogs fall into the pool. And if your dogs are running around by pools, make sure you have an eye on them. Mm, you okay? All right. <laughs> I'm happy you're okay, bud. I'm happy you're okay. She's so cute. Why is she My smiling? Because she knows. She's like, I look good today, and you all know it too. <laughs> She's a cutie. Oh <laughs> Yo, bro, who got you smiling like that? Ah, <laughs> 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 now we just need like a slow motion zoom into her smile. That song. <laughs> Yo, bro, who got you smiling like that? Like, kill the lights. So oh, baby, close your eyes. The way you It just cuts to like pictures of food. Kill the light. Right, you just gotta get her happy, excited, make sure she's comfortable, and scratch her chin. Cookies, cookies, cookies. <laughs> anyway, Miss Lobster's doing great. This is her third day with us. She's, I mean, she showed up really comfortable, but she is getting more comfortable each day, and she's learning the routine, and she's just a joy. Come here. What do you think of Miss? <laughs> What do you think of your lobster friend? Huh? Are you being good? You like your foster sister? Okay, bye. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I just sat down. Why are you gonna go over there? Oh, oh, she wants bits. She wants bits. Uh uh. Uh uh. No couch for you, miss. If you want your ants to to grow, you should water him multiple times per day. You can use an watering can or let it drink water itself. Sermats should get plenty of water but should never be submerged because sermats cannot swim that's too much water. Make sure you brush your sermats teeth. They can grow many teeth like a shark. If you don't brush your sermats teeth, they will have to go to the dentist and get drunk. Then their teeth will look like this and never grow. Should I brush my ants sermats? No. Their fur does not grow. It is full grown and it hurts sermats skin. Sermats skin is like tissue. Tissue paper, do not brush tissue paper. Sermits are very sensitive and need emotional support. Give them compliments and tell them good morning all day or else they'll cry. Crying does not make sermits grow. Sometimes sermits get dingleberries after they poop and you have to wipe their bottoms or else they will scream. Sermits get diarrhea and get dehydrated. Get them a camel hump of fluid to help them grow. Sermits get older, make sure sermits are not going blind and deaf. Your sermit can and will go blind and deaf. It's natural as they grow. Good hydration. Yes, good hydration. Wait, where are you going? Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus? Kermit, since you love chasing squirrels, you can have your own squirrel. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh, oh my god! Wow! Okay, look out. It's time for marble. Good boy. He's nice. I don't think you would have liked that birthday cake, but you got some treats for quote, ringing the doorbell. He did so good. It's not worth it to assume it's a bee sting, even though we can't see anything that explicitly looks like a bee sting. Like, it could be any of these little bones. So it's always just, cause he's an eggy. It should, it's just good practice to always take him in if he's limping or anything like that. And he has some Benadryl. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, it feels good, huh? Hey, you all right, bud? You get a blue Kermit, bone today? you all right? Bitch. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god.
Come on. Da, 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 da. So Gildy's gonna be on the end because she's unpredictable. Then Peach because she does like Gildy a lot. Then Kermit because he likes Peach. And then Marble because Kermit's the only one that he trusts. Don't do this. This is a bad <laughs> idea. <sighs> there was no giving this plant enough light because it is always sad. Some of her most effective training really hasn't come in the form of training, but in the form of trust. I feel like we're at a very good point where she trusts us, so she hopefully knows that I would never do anything but try and help her and love her. And therefore, if you're in an uncomfortable environment, as long as I'm there or Julian's there, you really don't have to freak out. Please trust me, Bunny that I will put you in the bathtub with care and gentleness. Her leg. There you go, you're good. Good girl. It's just like the pool. And I'm just gonna give you some of the shampoo. What do you think? I'll warm it up for you, okay? Bunny like is the best with the pool out of all the dogs. She just still hasn't quite understood what it means to be submerged. Sermith should get plenty of water, but should never be submerged because Sermith cannot swim as too much water. Other way. Other way. Other way. Good boy, Kermit. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? <laughs> Kermit, you better like this bed, boy. It's your birthday bed. I love that dog. I love that dog. I love There's him. There's no other reason for some dumb shit like this. You know, I don't want to sit in this. Ain't nobody want to sit in this. This isn't comfortable for Samus or anybody. Kermit, mommy made you a birthday surprise. Yeah, mommy made you a birthday surprise. There you go, honey. Happy birthday! Please come back, please come back, please come back. Hi, honey. It's kind of nice, huh? Marbles, Marbles is in timeout because he's not quite ready. Thank you, brother. You gotta calm your energy, Marble. You look so big right now. Calm your energy, Marble. Kermit, hey, she's, hey, Kermit she's not ready for easy, all that. Easy. <laughs> Julian's walking the Italians. Walking I'm walking. The Italians. I'm walking the angry. Oh my God. I'm not gonna forget about you. Sometimes when I'm feeding them breakfast and I take too long, Marbles makes that noise because he's like, "Hello, don't forget, I want food." <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, let me just get your brother's medicine. You know, now we, we're Hawkeye on her and she's on uh, prescription ID food. He had a pretty vicious fight with himself in the mirror that we bought yesterday. So I think he's kind of still on the tail end of recovering from that. Basically, if there's a day of the week that doesn't have some sort of stressful event, he'll volunteer himself to be that stressful event and say, can we go to the vet now? He's doing well. As you can tell, he's... He's living his damn life. Mubble, are you ready to get roasted? <laughs> the people on the internet said them, not mommy, okay? I think way worse about you. She's doing very well. She's lost a lot of weight and she's very healthy now. That doesn't mean she doesn't want to be fat, but she does. <laughs> They're one of the only breeds of dogs whose faces are smaller than their necks, which is why they have special collars. They're called martingales. So when they go like this, it doesn't just slip right off their triangle face. It is really nice every once in a while to just give Marble the one-on-one -on -one attention, personalized treat and training that he deserves. It is possible, because I wouldn't want him to do something that like his body isn't physically capable of. I've seen him stand. Whoa. <laughs> I know you're trying so hard, honey, yes. Rebel up, 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 come on. Oh. <laughs> You can do it. You can do anything you dream of, Mumble. 
Someday we're gonna teach you how to jump up just like Peachy, and you'll fly from the ground <laughs> into my arms. Hi, crazy girl. Here you go, nasty boy. It pays to cry, kids. Here you go, sweetheart. Is this what you're asking for? Are you want attention? Come. Did you forget what we were doing? I know, sometimes that happens, huh? Yeah, sometimes I forget. I forget what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, I forget. What was the trick again? Here, Mom, come. Come on. Yes, good boy. Is this not just a metaphor for life? Like, it doesn't matter. How oh, yes! <laughs> how far along in life you are, it's never too late just to learn how to stand on your own legs. Good. Um, so just because I'm little doesn't mean that I don't also like learning new tricks. I can do it. I can. I'm smart. I just need like several hours at a time. Yeah, but you know what's so cute about him is that he's really patient. Like after that whole time, he didn't give up. No, I think he's too stupid to give up. I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean. And I think that you're so brave and so smart. Yeah, I really do. For the sake of making my dog happy, why don't we all just say... Yeah, Kerm, great job, Kerm, great job, 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 and all of these are safe for dogs. Obviously things like grapes, raisins, onion, garlic, stuff like that you should never feed your dog. They're all chopped up into very small bites because I only want to give her a little bit. We certainly don't want to upset her stomach. Peach, wow. Okay. everything's gonna be okay, baby. Peach, it's gonna be okay. We've done this before, Bunny, you ready? The other doggies have to have it. You get it. <laughs> no, I take, I take out of their small mouths. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Do you god. see that? Oh, <laughs> that's off. Off. Kermit, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh Kermit! Oh, did he just swallow <laughs> it all? He Kermit! It all. Now, no one can eat that because it's covered in your feral. Before he comes to the tongue, go to your happy place. I love you, too. Well, it's true. He just wants to be unconscious. I don't think it's bad for him. Like, he's not eating it. Like, he just wants to rub his face on it. But I got a big bag of soap here. This is basically Kermit's heaven. So we had to take a little bit of a food break because someone has Cushing's disease and gets very hungry all at once. In case anyone was wondering, the soap choice of Sermons worldwide is Irish Spring. So if you're a salmon, or you have a salmon, you should give them some Irish Spring because they really like it a lot. They want to rub their face on this. You did good, bud. I know, it's a lot of soap, huh? Well, thank you for playing along. We're so glad that we figured out what you like so that we can always have some stocked in the bathroom for you so you can rub your little face all over it. Yes, you can. He kind of just, like, he needs hugs and cuddles and pets. I've just... I've been taking care of Marbles all day today. You know what I think is cool is being there for your dog when your dog needs you. Marbles has been there for me for 10 years for everything that I've ever gone through. So it just felt like the right thing to do today to be there for him. You know what I mean? How about we put Marble on the table and he's going to try to get to you because that's his okay. life goal is to always just get to you. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself even though you don't know what's going on? Don't worry. I'll get some coconut oil and I'll wipe them right off for you, okay? Kermit will actually let me put lashes on him. Like not glue, obviously. You just sort of stick them, like rest them on his forehead. He, he's just sitting with me. Like he really just like wants to hang, you know? Yeah. That's like why I kind of wanted to do this because I feel bad whenever you leave them. Like Kermit's the kind of dog that like actually gets mad when I leave and he he'll, has a grudge. yeah, he'll get like he gets upset. So I know it's not gonna be a very fun week for you, huh? I know I love spending time with you, and I'm really sorry I'm gonna miss you so much. Okay? And you looked really pretty in those lashes. You're the prettiest boy. Okay. And I can't get it off of his hand. I don't know how to get it off his hand. I can't get it off his hand. <laughs> it's so nasty, Kermit. He's got water on his face because we just violently tried to wash it. Kermit, it won't come off. I don't know what to do. Kermit. Kermit, you stepped in mommy's paint. Kermit, Kermit. Did you step in the paint? <laughs>
Thanks a lot for nothing, Google. <laughs> Clem, I know, bud. I know, buddy. I know. Right. Look what mommy did. Oh, there's fucking orange everywhere. Clean as a whistle. Thank you, coconut oil. You still have some on your chest. And this memory that will last forever. <laughs> no greenies for you. No, he still gets a greenie. <laughs> If you go back up on that table, though, I swear to God. Come on, guys. Where's Bobby? Oh, mom was being a good boy, just like always. Peach, away from the table. She is allowed on the couch with Julian and I and the other dogs and still under some supervision. She's not allowed on the couch when we have guests over, even though sometimes she thinks she is. We have a baby gate, for example, when we're in the game room and we're working, and it's a short gate. Like, she could easily step over it or knock it over, but because it's there, she's incredibly respectful that it's time to stay in this room. It seemed like to me she was sort of showing interest that she wanted to sleep outside of a crate, at night and then eventually i started putting beds and blankets around the bedroom to see if she would ever choose a different place to sleep and sure enough you know she might spend like 30 minutes in her bed and then back to the crate and then over time she just decided that she didn't want to sleep in her crate anymore the rule is for her which she's again incredibly respectful of no going on the bed at night no going on the bed if you're not invited and it's only in the morning pretty much she knows now that she can trust us i'm not gonna take your toy and make it go somewhere that you don't want it to go. The worst thing that's gonna happen to it is it's gonna get thrown across the room so you can chase it and it's even more fun now. <laughs> On occasion, we have forgotten Kermit's birthday because his is last and at that point we're all birthdayed out and he's the middle child, so it's not our fault. We just forget about him sometimes. <laughs> we are gonna fill it up with some water like from the hose, but then I'm gonna put some warm water in here also because they're babies and they don't like cold water. Kermit, you're tipping off. Kermit, you're, you're gonna drown your mother. Kermit. It's okay. It's just water. It's nice and hot out. This feels good. Do you know that some dogs swim for fun? <laughs> they do. Who can say? Hello, are you alright over there? You good? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think he knows either. Yeah, yeah, Marble says, I like when you do things for me. This feels nice. Here, snuggle together. Share your body heat. You guys feel better? Come on, get the squirrel. Get the squirrel. There's no squirrel over there. We had to get you a medium baby girl. Because although you are technically a small dog, girl, you a medium. You know what I'm saying? That's not a bad thing. You just thick and long. This is what you wanted. Sometimes you don't know why you're crying and this is what you're crying for. Are you happy? Are you pleased with yourself? So last year, we had some choices for marble that I think were a little bit too much. I think you forgot where you were for the majority of that time. So I got you some more like functional outfits that aren't gonna overwhelm you. I think you can walk around in this one pretty good, which is the whole idea. You can't wear a costume that's too uncomfortable. Finally, baby girl, we got you a bra for them titties. <laughs> you know, as fosters, we try not to like pass on any habits for the dog to the adopting parents and stuff. Um, you know, generally like we refrain from feeding them human food and letting them on the couch and on the bed. She hasn't been on our bed. Well, ever since she found her way to the couch, we've been very closely watching her and how she acts and how she interacts with the other dogs and how she acts when we tell her to get off. Um, and she's been really good <laughs> all the way around. <laughs> she's just a sweetie. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy did something very special for you. Come on, Miss Weech. Welcome to your new living room. Wow, guys. Mom, 
Available. You, you still haven't noticed the greenie up there in the frame. <laughs> it's a picture of our parents and their favorite item of food. <laughs> Kerm, are you happy? Kermie's always happy. Yeah, he likes it. He's the most appreciative dog. Uh, Marble likes the dog pad, but he likes his mother more. Marble, the type of cat you drop off at daycare, and the whole time he just waits for his mom to get <laughs> Okay, but that was also me, so. <laughs> We did wait until it got a little cooler because it's very hot right now. It's important not to let your dog overheat. Vlogging and biking is definitely the worst thing I've ever done. Hey guys! So ridiculous. And because he's been a middle child all year, he deserves to get a picture with Santa. Wouldn't you say so, Julian? He just bit me. No, he didn't. He just bit me. Can you be a really good boy? Holy How was that? Was that fun? <laughs> did you, you meet, meet Santa? Santa? Did you ask him what you wanted for Christmas? <laughs> What did you ask for? Santa cucked me, not clickbait. Okay, you don't breathe too much air either. <laughs> oh, aren't you hot? Oh God, I'm so hot. That's why I have this fan. And I'm like, I like magic and believing too. <laughs> God, why do you have to break character just because I'm 31 at the mall with my dog? I love you so much, bud. I'm glad that you had fun. You're a really good boy, you know that? Yeah. You're never going to meet Santa. No. <laughs> Marvel doesn't even believe in Santa. <laughs> if there's something going on with somebody's health, we got to go do that. <laughs> God! That is my favorite outfit you've ever worn. Julian, you look beautiful. Fuck, that is someone's kink right now. Oh my God. Someone in the comments right now is losing their shit over this. <laughs> Yeehaw. Ah! This is very comfortable and I feel like is the physical representation of how I felt taking care of my sick dog the last couple of days. <laughs> One of my favorite things about being an adult is having dogs. The only thing that comes along with that is the immense amount of guilt you feel from just doing people things without them. Hi, welcome to I Feel Guilty. Marvel, this is boiling hot oil. Do you understand what that means? He would not stop walking around the counter towards the piping hot oil because he wanted a hug. Oh, Miss Sweet. Kermit. Oh, blueberry, is it good? Here, why don't we break this apart? Here you go. Oh, that's fun. It's like hard, huh, guy? Are you not digging the temperature or the texture or what is it? Does it make you nervous? Are you scared? What's going on? Oh, does it taste like blueberry or coconut? Which one? We've lost our audience. The dogs have left. You didn't want a leisure. You wanted to prowl the ground for treats, even though I'm making you treats. If you could just be patient, you'd have nice home-cooked biscuits. Even Marble's eating it. I should bake you guys something like every week. Oh, I'm such a terrible person. Well, you did something good today. Why are you sad about it? I don't get it. What can I do for you? That was very nice, but what? In the past, you've gotten a little overwhelmed with costumes. Marble, Marble, stay with us, Marble. Marble, Marble. So I did my best to only get you three this year. But I want you to have something that's fun and wearable and doesn't make you feel lost. You want something comfortable and wearable? Be so cute. She trusts us to put a spider on her back and she knows that I'm just gonna get some treats, so. Um, I think there's a young man right here that would like a treat, too. There you go, tiger boy. No teeth, no problem. You know what, she deserves a good time. I'm gonna let her have it till she destroys it, and then I'm gonna take it away from her. You have never had a friend like me. Because everything in the world seems to send you into a sensitive spiral, but hats, you really just don't mind too much, huh, bud? Marble. Oh, I didn't even see him. Camouflaged. Oh my god. Oh my god. Marble. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> when did he even get here? Marble. Well, there's two beds on the table. I'm sorry, we're doing this again. We're doing this again. Yeah, Legit thought marbles was a vegetable you glued ears to. Oh, marbles. We didn't glue ears to a vegetable. We taped them. I'm his birth mother. <laughs> Please show people you're alive, but... Whoa, it moved in your fucking face. 
take that. We want to make a joke about Peach being too big for the pop socket, but JK, we love Peach. Oh <laughs> my god! Peachy, don't worry, we'll make pop sockets for iPads and you'll be, be perfect size. Do ya! Usually the dogs bother me a lot. Like that makes it kind of hard to nap. We're filming. Peach, for your birthday, I'm forgiving your debts. What? That's so much money. She doesn't owe me any money anymore. Cause she's six now. Charles is 12, Peach is six. And Kermit's birthday, he's waited all year for it, is on Saturday. Kermit's turning 10. I'm super proud of you, bud. This is gonna be so gross. They're gonna love it because dogs <laughs> are hella dumb. <laughs> This is truly disgusting, but they're gonna love it. They're, they have to love it. Are you excited, birthday boy? You can lick it because I'm not gonna eat any of it, so it really doesn't bother me. You have a few licks before it goes in the oven. Oh God. Oh, he can lick it, I guess. That's what I said. <laughs> you're gonna like it. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh. This is the only time you're gonna be able to do this. Are you excited, bud? It's my birthday. It's on fire, bud, okay? Oh, this my girl. Yeah. Oh, Bunny wants a hairpiece. Oh, Peachy, that's so pretty. I didn't know you want it to be about you. If you want it to be about you, then sit down, please. <laughs> she just looked at herself. She's. <laughs> 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 you have that wig? Now, I feel a little silly saying this, but for those of you that know me, you know that I love my dogs more than I love people. I would never do anything that was too much for them or that they were scared of. And I promise you, if this is too much, we will stop. We will not make Marble do anything he doesn't want to do. Or we'll just try one of the Iggy's. They're chill. Play a game called, why is Kermit crying? <laughs> good morning, Kermit. Oh, that seemed to work. Kermit was crying because he wanted me to say good morning to him. Good morning. Well, because we wanted to do this when everything is ready. I don't want to subject marbles to hours of us testing. It takes 72 balloons to get this off the ground with a five pound dumbbell in. No, he can't tell the difference. He doesn't know where he is no matter what. He literally doesn't care. <laughs> like, look at all that's going on. Kermit. I think he needs you to say a hello to him. Kermit. <laughs> Please don't make fun of me for feeding my dog on the ground. It's the only place he'll eat it, okay? He has the mat with literally no sides on it and he won't eat off of it. He's drooling a whole puddle, I know, dude. Kermit, you have to wait. I have to break up Marble's food, honey, okay? You know you have to wait. Because or else you finish too fast and then come and bother him and try and steal his. You have to at least let him get started, Kermit. Don't eat it so fast in one bite, you're going to throw it up. Kermit, don't you swallow that thing whole. You gonna eat your medicine all nasty? Morning, Kermit. Good morning, Kermit. Good morning, Kermit. Yeah. Sometimes I just want to be in a shirt too, buddy. Kermit, tomorrow is your birthday. Do you know what that means? I'm doing something for myself. And there will be paint and stuff that we gotta fish out. Put your groceries down before we start. My groceries are crying. Your groceries are crying. Ooh, fresh breath. Kermit, why don't you touch that? <laughs> God, look at this ferocious, toothless monster in the pet store. Fire. Kermit. Oh my God. Kermit. Kermit. What the hell was that? You're a bad boy. Why would you do that? He just kept going when you when you caught him. Jesus, dude. Marble hasn't picked out anything for himself, so I feel like maybe if I give him a chance to walk on his own without the Iggy's, he might pick something. We got one more toy. Here, bud. Oh. Kermit, come. Here. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Here, bud. He's like, I don't know what this shape is. Okay, go. <laughs> oh my god, Kermit. You picked it out, Kermit. Kermit, come on. I'm not gonna hold it for you so you can gently put your mouth around it. You picked this out. You were so interested about it in the store. We should take his shirt off. He's not gonna do anything. Okay, your protest has been heard. We're taking your shirt. 
we can enjoy these maybe like five minutes at a time and then it's time to give them back to mommy because these are too big for you. No, it's time to give it back to mommy. No, it's time to give it back to mommy. You can enjoy these a little bit at a time. These are for big doggy. Kermit has been a very powerful training tool for us with Bunny because although he cries a lot, he is socially confident and does not fear things like the ocean or the beach. He just doesn't want to be there. So when Bunny sees him doing something with confidence, it actually helps her feel more confident. How does that thick butt fit in this tent? Sorry. Wait, there's all the people here. Oh, sorry. I was honestly wondering. Kermit, relax. Oh my God, so dramatic. Look at him shivering. <laughs> Kermit, the world's not ending. Oh my god. Is this fun? This is a nice mother-daughter bonding day. I love it. Are you having fun? And father-son bonding day too. Good girl. A very good dog to bring to the beach. Yeah. Unlike some of us who just sit and cry the entire time. You need to go in your car seat. That's not where stermits go in the car, and you know it. <laughs> oh my god. Does that make your head itchy? Yeah, my head is itchy. Get out! We'll be judging them on fit, comfort, and cuteness. Because if it's not comfortable, we don't want you to wear it. What's he doing? Literally nothing. <laughs> what? He's not even standing up. Marvel, did you forget how to stand up? Marvel! Marvel, bud! Marvel! What is that? Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, this goes around you. Hello. You're just like, come, what's in your mouth? <laughs> It's, it's like that meme. What do you have in your mouth? Choose furiously. He swallowed it. Go! He it. Go! Mama! Mama! Mama, stay with us! Mama! <laughs> he is like the most patient dog with my bullshit that there is. Like, I put up with him and he puts up with me. Like, he knows the deal. So, poor Foof is injured. <laughs> she has a sock on it right now to try and keep her from getting at those stitches. She cannot wear a cone because she is way too skittish for it. Supervision and a muzzle and or just pure supervision with a sock is probably our best option for her. And the first thing you're gonna do is make sure that there are no seeds in it you're mostly just looking for getting rid of any of the black traditional watermelon seeds so not good for dogs or people. So stop eating them. Marble, what happened to yours? <gasps> Did someone steal marbles? Oh, Marble. Oh, did someone steal your popsicle, honey? Here. Okay, we should probably take it easy on the watermelon. Make sure that no one gets too much because if they have too much watermelon, they'll get diarrhea. <laughs> for me, look out. You have very bad reactions to these things. Come on, baby. Yeah, he's out. He's out. All right, we're shutting the doors. No bees. We be like, we're going camping, and be be like, me too. Bunny has two beds in here. She deserves both of them. Thank you very much. I think we should wait till Bunny is like chilling with this space, and then we can have Bobby come in because Bobby does not like this energy. Are you ready for s'mores? <laughs> he can't have s'mores. Julian. He can have s'mores if he wants. He's the eldest. It's chocolate, oh, Julian. Okay, so just, so we'll cut out the marshmallow and the graham cracker and just give them chocolate. No. Oh. This is why they're so easy. Like whenever we travel, they're so easy. Yeah. Because if they can just sleep in the middle of where we're sleeping, then yeah. they're totally happy. I thought we would do something special for you, bud, because you're the oldest, you're the alpha. Your name is literally in this channel. I named myself after you. Some people think it was the other way around that my last name is Marbles and I named my dog Marbles. Absolutely not. I named myself after my dog. Hello, like a normal person. So on someone else's birthday, Bunny, they get to blow out a candle and wear the special hat and have happy birthday song to them. Did you get a pill pocket for your birthday? Like 
like a little old man. You think a pill pocket's like the best thing in the whole world, huh? So yummy, so soft, so easy to eat with no teeth. Kids, just know, if you're in your 30s and you don't have any kids, this is what you have to look forward to. Wow! <laughs> Why are you saying wow? Because he found it all by himself. You can't deny the fact that he's enjoying himself, which is making it all worth it. Remember that spot? Can you explain what that spot is? That's where he fell in the pool. <laughs> Who can say? Uh oh, not towards the pool, Kerm. Who can say? Oh, here he comes. Sea Biscuit himself. <laughs> sea Biscuit is inches away from the final egg. Oh my god. Come on, Marble. Too. We believe in you. We believe in you. It's too easy. Like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go hide some treats and some plastic eggs and let them go play and have fun. It's good problem solving, good good fun times, huh guys? What's wrong? The Easter Bunny is here to listen to you. I'm going to do my very best to make sure that they're safe, that they're not too stressed out. They're also like my dogs. I think I can read them pretty well and I'm not going to do anything that's going to stress them out too much. What are you laughing about? Hey, hey Bobby! He's so weird and awkward. I'm right here. All right, ready? Good. That's my necklace that I care deeply about. I think I'm gonna take him over there. Yeah. I'm gonna just show him, like, if he swims up to that part, he can get out using that shell. Come on, Kermit, be careful. You gotta use your feet. This is over the edges, bud. Come on, Annie. Oh, easy does it. Good job, bud. He's a senior dog. Like, this is really good exercise. Yeah. And is keeping you nice and cool. If you would accept the treat ever, like maybe it would be a rewarding experience for you. This is all you want though, huh? You just want a hug? What the hell, dude? They're all just like generally scared of dipping their face under, which is like when you teach babies how to swim, that's like the scariest part, or like putting your head under, so. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. Are you having a good time or what? All I care about is like if they fell in that they could figure their way out. And I think with like a lot more time with them and working with them with treats and like figuring out which ways are safe for them to go, like that's all you could ever want, right? Make sure you want these therm for me, okay? Bye.